Thank you for clicking on this video and you know what this video is about. Is Flutter Web ready? So Flutter Web is the upcoming framework that everyone is hyping about, usually in the Flutter community. And for those who don't know what's Flutter, Flutter is an open source cross-platform framework that's created by Google, maintained by mostly Google developers, and their vision or their goal is to have built a framework that allows you to build anywhere, iOS, Android, websites, desktop, and even embedded in one code base. So Flutter started as a cross-mobile platform that only focuses on iOS and Android. And since then, they have exceeded the GitHub stars with its kinder, you could say, competitor, which is React Native. However, take this statement with a grain of salt. Actually, just take this whole video with a grain of salt. So the next venture for the Flutter team is to focus on the web development side. That's why I call it Flutter Web. Initially, it was called Hummingbird, which is a very nice project name, but then they make it easier for people who have already been in the Flutter ecosystem to call it Flutter Web. As the growing numbers of developers who chance upon Flutter as a mobile framework grows, and the current developers who are in the mobile ecosystem now wants to find a web framework that they want to pursue. And the thing about Flutter is that you have Flutter Web. So you don't have to learn another framework, another language to build a website. Therefore, Flutter Web is gaining traction very quickly from the recent announcement of CodePen being supported for Flutter and also Dartpad, which is the playground for initially Dart or Angular web apps. And now it is supporting Flutter projects with its online editor. With this increase of support for Flutter Web, you might think that it is the framework to look out for, right? And with the increase of number of developers hopping into the Flutter framework, you might think that Flutter is the best place for you to learn development and eventually find a job, right? Well, I'm no expert in the job industry or how the tech is going on, so everything I say in this video is mostly my opinions and observations. So I'm going to explain Flutter Web's relevancy in two points. The first one is user experience in Flutter Web, and the second one is business decision. So I have made a video that talks about whether Flutter Web is better than HTML and CSS. For those who haven't watched it, the answer is yes in terms of developer experience. In short or summary, when you develop in Flutter, it makes your developer experience so much nicer because most of the things that you do is very natural or very close to English language. While HTML and CSS is something new that you need to pick up and learn and then you have to put it inside your brain and switch it accordingly. So that's just my opinion. You can check out the video for more information. However, in terms of user experience, a person who goes to a website that's being built in Flutter Web, I would say no. Flutter Web is not very good in terms of user experience. So I'm going to give you these two screen recording of two websites. The first one is by a company called PS Love where they have created a very beautiful designed website in Flutter Web. And then the other one is Shopee, which is another e-commerce website that is simply just another e-commerce website. And you could see the difference between both of them. For PS Love, you could see the jankiness. It is not 60 FPS. While you see Shopee, when you scroll, it is very smooth and you could see that the different animations that you do, it's pretty flag free. Maybe I have very high expectation for Flutter, but if you want to be great, you have to. <laughs> for people who have already experienced creating Flutter web projects, you will see the jankiness of the website that you have built. So the thing is, I assume that most web users do not have any janky web experience. If they are not as patient as we want them to be, 
Flutter Web is not a great user experience for those people who are already accustomed to the fast and lag-free web experience that they have been used to for a very long time. I am not hating on a Flutter Web framework. It is pretty amazing. I love it. But this is my realistic point of view in terms of a user. However, if I were to make the decision to choose a framework to build a website for production or for other customers to use, I would not use Flutter Web. So one thing that I want to stress is that humans do not like change, especially when they are used to a certain type of expectations. So one expectation that I feel that they are used to in websites is that when you use your cursor and you hover over, for example, a hyperlink, what would you expect? You expect the cursor to change to a click cursor image. However, in Flutter Web, you are not able to do that by default. There isn't any widget that allows you to have that hyperlink kind of behavior. Furthermore, buttons are the same. So if you were to hover your mouse over a normal website's button, you could see that the cursor would change its image into a click cursor image. However, in Flutter Web, how the Flutter team adjusts or make around with it is that instead of having the cursor change its image, the button would then have a different hover effect. Meaning that, for example, if the button is blue color and you hover over using your mouse cursor, it will either turn light or dark to indicate that this button is interactive. So for normal web users, this might be confusing. So there is this confusion and humans, like I say, do not like change. And for me personally, I do not like how the Flutter team does it on the hover over. So there is a solution to that where I think, I think one of the YouTuber has made a video about it where you use a HTML library for you to have that on-click kind of cursor effect, which works on Flutter web very well. It is just that if you were to use any HTML library, then this is the same as having a workaround for the Flutter web, which does not go well with the vision of one code base that can build for all platforms. And then another thing that I want to also talk about is that, for example, for Flutter, because it's built firstly for mobile, there is this scrolling that you have to work around. For example, in Flutter, if you were to scroll up and down, you could see this semicircle that will appear when you scroll at the end of the web page. So in desktop, it looks very, very ugly because it's huge. There is a workaround, but like I say, workarounds does not really fit to the vision of Flutter. Maybe I have very high expectation for Flutter, but if you want to be great, you have to. <laughs> but for most users who are web users, they don't expect that semicircle to be appearing when you scroll all the way to the bottom and see whether there is any more things that you can scroll. So that's just one thing that I'm concerned about. So for this confusing user experience in Flutter web and normal web experience, this will then affect the second point that I want to talk about, which is business decisions. So the thing about these businesses or for myself where I'm running kind of a business is that if I were to build a website that's production ready and I want my user to be happy for the experience they have in my website, I want it to be no jank, no lag and smooth transitions and animations. And Flutter Web does not provide me with these qualities. Therefore, with this, I'm out. I think you're doing the right thing, but I'm out. So that's the thing about these businesses. If they were to see the jankiness, the lagginess, and the unsmooth or janky animations, they will not feel attracted in using Flutter Web. They will probably go on the safe side and they will probably use Angular, React, or Vue in order for them to build their custom websites. And time is of the essence for any kind of business because if they were to have the patience of waiting for Flutter Web but their customers are not happy with their web experience, 
then they would probably make the decision to either wait for the Flutter web to be better or they would change to another framework that is lag free or gives a better web user experience. However, if you are talking about Flutter, I would say Flutter is a very good framework for mobile apps. It is lag free, it is smooth, and you are able to use one code base to build in iOS and Android. And the thing is that the releases are both the same on both platforms, which resolve the problem of having different releases for different operating system. That's what Flutter Mobile was very good for. And with this, companies and even startups or new companies actually would want to use Flutter for their mobile app development or for their mobile app products. However, if you were to talk to them about websites, they will probably say no because even if with the one code base, if they really care about the user experience, they will probably find another framework that allows them to have a very smooth transition or very smooth experience for the users. Because user's experience is very, very important to get the business going and hopefully to retain the customers in order for them to buy their goods and services. So in terms of jobs wise, if you guys are looking for Flutter development job, Flutter Mobile, I would definitely be confident that there will be an increasing amount of Flutter jobs for the mobile platform. However, if you want to be a Flutter developer for the websites, I am not confident that there is any position or even there is, there will be very few companies that have it. And they are most likely because they already have a mobile app inside their company. So might as well try and experiment on this Flutter web framework. So in conclusion, due to the jankiness, not so smooth transitions and animations and the legginess of the responsiveness of Flutter web, this does not attract businesses to choose Flutter web as a framework. However, Flutter is a very good choice for any company to implement because of its scalability and how smooth it offers to any user experience. But I am a fan of underdogs. I started developing Flutter when it was in beta and Flutter Web is very, very promising. And be realistic here, remember Flutter Web is still in beta. And the Flutter team is continuously working on Flutter Web to improve its performance. And this is from the bottom of my heart. Once Flutter is able to hit the web standard of not being janky, being smooth in animations and being lag free in web browsers, I will definitely say that Flutter Web is a game changer for any JS framework out there. Due to how different Flutter is, if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you disagree give it a thumbs down and tell me why you disagree your flutter web is not ready for production right now and if you want more of this video subscribe all the best and stay safe bye bye